Are you looking to add some fire to your life? Well, how about a nicely packaged airdrop bomb? That would be sure to add some flames to your life, as well as a whole mess of destruction. Well, that's what you'll get when you play Mercenaries 2 World in Flames for the PS3. Released in 2008, this is the sequel to Mercenaries, Playground of Destruction, which was an awesome game for the previous console generation. You could run around as Indiana Jones and drop airstrikes. What was there not to love? I put a lot of time into the first Mercenaries, so needless to say, I was pretty excited for this entry. And were my hopes fulfilled, or was this game a complete letdown? That depends on what you want from the game. Mercenaries puts you in control of one of three characters. Each one is nothing more than a skin with the game being almost completely the same no matter who you pick. Each of them have their own abilities, but they won't matter too much. The story goes, you are hired by the local Venezuelan warlord, but you are betrayed before you are paid. Not the sort of thing you should do to a moralist merc. So, now you're out for revenge and will burn down Venezuela to do so. The game is an adrenaline shot to the ego. It is an open world that allows you to use the most ridiculous ways to complete your objectives. You will crash your car into the base you are heading to, blow it up, then clean up the remaining enemies with your assault rifle. If you wanted realism, then look elsewhere, because we will be having none of that. You will run headfirst into a line of enemies, all firing at you, and only see your health drop the slightest bit. There is even a part where you hijack a tank inside a building. Really cool. The game is definitely more Rambo than Rainbow Six. And if you're having too much trouble in a particular area, just call in an airstrike and that would be sure to do the trick. And all this looks awesome because everything is destructible. If you fire your tank at a wall that's in your way, don't expect much of that wall to be there afterwards. With all these options, the game really allows you to play it the way you want to play it. Money is the name of the game. Actually, Mercenaries 2 is the name of the game, but you know what I mean. Completing anything in the game rewards you with money. There are even crates that you can smash that are filled with money. Why are those not littered around my neighborhood? But you will need to collect as much money as you can because everything costs money, just like life. You want an airstrike? It's gonna cost you. You want supplies dropped in for you? It's gonna cost you. You want health? It's gonna cost you. The game is pure ridiculous fun. Explosions, car crashes, airstrikes, good birds, and rocket launchers. The game has everything. Just take that part of your brain that thinks, this can't happen in real life, and lock it away for a while and enjoy Mercenaries 2. I do feel the need to mention the game does have some really bad AI. The enemies will literally just stand there while you mow through them. But this isn't real life. This is fake life, and they're there to be shot. So that's what I'm going to do to them. Sometimes, I want to take a break from hiding behind cover, waiting for my health to recharge so that I can continue, like other games. Sometimes, I just want to run at my enemies, my guns ablazing, with my cares thrown aside. You want a deep experience? Read Heidegger. You want to do your part in making man an endangered species? Play Mercenaries 2.